Did you hear how he flipped into falsetto just like that? That kid's good. He is good. Where that has he been? That kid is good. That is Baby Get Higher from Emin. And he's got a much longer name than that. But like Brazilian <laughs> soccer players and Oprah, he's known by just one name. That's right. He's Emin. one of... Emin. He's one of the hottest names in international music right now. And he's joining us on the couch to talk about his first U.S. album, After the Thunder. Welcome, Evan. Thanks wow. for being Thank here. Thank you for Good having morning. me. So what took so long to get to the U.S.? You're awesome. Yeah, it, it took a long time. I, I started from Russia, then I was in London. I uh, had some hit singles there, and now I'm in America, and I'm very excited. How does that process go? How do you, how do you plant seeds to get the invite to the States where you can grow your audience? Um, you start with the song always and when you have a really good one that's when it's time to enter the US market and I think uh, baby get higher is my lucky soul you grew grew up in Russia spent time in New Jersey in Tenafly yes cool. Tenafly High School yeah. um, so what so what's that I mean you're, that, that's a it's a crazy background I bet you don't meet many people a, that have a similar background. I was background. born in Azerbaijan Baku that's on the Caspian Sea grew up in Russia then moved here Lived in Switzerland for a couple of years and then moved here to uh, New Jersey and went to school in uh, Manhattan. Wow. So it's, it's a crazy life. You're like the UN of music. <laughs> um, uh, so you're a big Elvis fan. I am. What Always are your other been. influences? Um, well, Elvis, Tom Jones, Engelbert Humperdinck, the old guys, the older guys, and um, uh, Robbie Williams, Sade. I like Barry White. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Tom Jones doesn't like to be called older. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your background, though, what we just discussed, does that play a role in your mu in your music as I well? I think so. I think you're affected by um, by the singers that uh, you fell in love with, especially when you when you were young, and uh, that translates into your songwriting. And me being uh, the author of most of my songs. Uh, now, when you go on this next chapter in your your career. You're a busy dad, too. You have twin four-year-old boys, boys yeah. right? They're turning four first of December. Well, where's months. home? Uh, well, my wife and kids spend most of their time in London. I spend half of my time in Moscow, a quarter of my time in America, and a quarter of my time in London. So wow. it's a lot of traveling. It's a challenge to spend time with your family, but uh, we, uh, we're managing for now. <laughs> Well, so you're working on, obviously, you've got your music, which is a lovely cover, by the Thank way. You, that guy. Yes, looks awesome. Um, but you're also working on a reality show. Uh, yes. Speaking of Elvis, yes, tell yes. us about this. Um, well, the Brits had an idea to do, um, to do a show where the East meets the West, uh, from Moscow to Memphis, where I get to discover Elvis, as I had 20 years ago when I first heard his uh, recording uh, back in Moscow. And... Um, the trip might, might happen in, um, in Graceland, and I get to meet uh, his family and his drummer and go to the Hilton Hotel where he had 600 shows. And cool. It's very exciting. That's, cool. That's a great idea. I'm a big my... fan of Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah. you see my living room. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. So obviously you can't do a duet with yeah. Elvis, but any dream duets you'd like to do? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm taking my time on the duets. I've, uh, I've done a show together with uh, Jennifer Lopez in Baku now. It was a, a, big, uh, a big venue, 25,000 people, and I was uh, the opener for, for, her, for her show. And we've, uh, we've recorded the duet, but never got to sing it yet. It was the song she did with Enrique. It's called uh, Mouth to Mouth. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking my time. Cool. All right. Well, wow. congratulations on Thank you. your success, your early success, and more to come, right? Emin, thanks Thank for you. being on the couch Thank this morning. Thank you for having me. The album is called After the Thunder. It's available right now, and you can catch Emin in concert tonight at the Rockwood Music Hall, too. Thank you for being Thank here. You. We look forward to that show tonight. I know, too. and then, like, years from now, we'll say, you know, we, we had that guy. We knew him well. Now he won't even return our calls, but he was on the couch. <laughs> hey, speaking of stars, grab some pencil and paper. It is time now to reveal the first secret password you'll need to win Justin Bieber tickets. So are you ready? Let's go. The first word is couch. Really? Yes. <laughs> couch. <laughs> Spelled C-O-U-C-H. Keep watching for the second word. You'll need both of them to enter, and you could win four tickets to Justin Bieber's concert tonight at Madison Square Garden. Maybe it'll be upholstery. We don't know. And... Just go to our website, cbsnewyork.com slash Bieber to enter the words, but you have to wait for the second. Slash Bieber. Slash okay, in Bieber. today's cue from the couch, we're asking, what's the best thing you've ever won? Maybe tickets. Visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash WLMITV.
Then you can follow us on Twitter at WLNY TV to answer it. Later in the show, we will share some of your winning answers as well. All right, now feel the burn, Carolina. She's learning a warrior move that works your legs and your core. She's going to look just like yeah. Sylvia before you know it. She's feeling the burn. <laughs> and get your kids ready. The stars of Yo Gabba Gabba are stopping by the couch for some silly fun. That's right, all of them. Silly, silly. We.